What's up guys, today we're going to be going over some side products I've been working on related to GPT-J6B. GPT-J of course being the largest public GPT model that predicts the next word in a sequence of words. The first one is currently on your screen now. Here we have a UI I quickly made using Vue.js that allows us to easily pass parameters to generate output to a GPT-J model. This front end talks to a REST server API I wrote in Flask that loads the GPTJ model as well as generates and returns the generated output. The second one, of course, being the name of the video a fake news generator using GPTJ. The use of AI to mass produce misinformation is often cited as one of the concerns that people have for the future of AI. But these powerful, coherent, language generating models are only as bad as those people using it. Under responsible and ethical use, use of these language models can be used to facilitate authors in writing new stories and new articles. So in the pursuit of further exploring the use of these language models for both fake news generation as well as acting as a tool to write legitimate articles, I went on Kaggle and discovered this data set here. This data set is from a Kaggle competition that occurred three years ago. The original purpose of this data set and the goal of the competition was to generate models that were able to detect whether an article was reliable or unreliable, real news or fake news. It contains many attributes, but for the purpose of what I did here, I only ever cared about the text and the title. Importantly, the data set was quite large, at over 100 megabytes. This gave me plenty of data to fine-tune a GPTJ 6 b model on the combination of fake and real news. As is common with misinformation and fake news, the data set contains much political content. As such, the input and output of the model typically contain political topics. After prepping the data set, and after several days of fine-tuning the model on this data set, I had a model that could generate fake news. So combining the work I've done here with the UI, as well as the work I did in creating the fine-tuned fake news model, I now have a tool that can allow me to easily generate fake news or facilitate me in writing legitimate news. I will now begin demoing this tool that I have made. For the purposes of this demo, the sliders we'll care the most about are max length and temperature. Temperature can be loosely thought as the model's creativity with a higher temperature generally increasing the creativity of the model. And the max length slider is kind of self-explaining. Uh, it determines what's the maximum that the model can generate of new words or new tokens. So as I previously mentioned, the data set is inherently political. So what I'll be typing on screen will also be political, uh, but please don't take offense if I offend your political affiliation. So the first thing I'll give the model is the headline, Donald Trump admits he is a lizard man. An obvious example of a fake news headline. I'll go ahead and quickly change the max length down to roughly 30 and we'll hit submit and see what the model generates. Go ahead again. And let's go ahead and read it. So after submitting the prompt to the model three times for a max of 36 tokens each, we have the output we see on screen now. Donald Trump admits he is a lizard man. Quote, I'm not going to lie about it. In an interview with the Washington Post published on Sunday, President Donald Trump admitted that he is a lizard man and has been hiding it from the public for years. Look, I'm not going to lie about it, Trump told reporters as he walked out of his limousine on the South Lawn. I've always been a lizard person. Trump then went on to say that he had been, and then the output currently ends. So at this point, we can go ahead and hit submit again and see what the model generates to continue the prompt. We see that the model continued by adding living in a cave since he was born, but that he didn't want people to know that because he thought that they would think he was crazy. He also said that he, and of course the current output stops at that point. 
But let's say that we didn't like what the model had just generated and we wanted to get a new output. We can go ahead and click the undo button and it will go back to the previous state uh, that was entered before we submitted a new entry to the model. By doing so, we can kind of see how this could be used as a tool to aid in legitimate writing. The model can suggest a sentence or two, and if you don't like it, you can click the undo button. Of course, we can also add text to the text the AI has already generated to kind of direct it in a path that we want it to go down. For example, let's say I didn't like the text that the AI had generated and I've already hit undo. So now I'll add what I want the model to kind of continue writing on. So Trump then went on to say that he had been regularly eating babies. And let's see, and other small animals since he was a child, but he wasn't proud of it at first. It's true, I used to eat babies, said Trump. I hope you see now that by combining AI generation, the undo button, and by me adding text and then having the AI continue off of that text, that this could be a great tool, both good and bad, for writing real and fake news articles. So as I've gone over, the max link slider determines how much text that the model will generate when we hit submit. If I were to use this for purely entertainment purposes, or if I wanted to be a malicious actor just putting out fake news, what I could do is bump this max link slider up to, let's say, around 500, and let's then try generating a complete article uh, in one go. So I'll go ahead and delete what's been generated thus far. And I'll go ahead and hit submit. And this, of course, will take longer because we are generating more than we have been. It's about over 10 times more. So let's see. And it's now done. So I'm not going to read the entire generated article as it's over 2,000 characters. But scrolling down, we can see that it's written much more and that we could easily through light editing or doing a similar process that we did uh, just a little bit ago make this a well-rounded edited fake news article. Now that we understand the basics of how this tool works let's go ahead and look at a few more examples. One of the examples I wanted to look at was vaccine side effect gives man superpowers. If we go ahead and generate a few sentences at a time using 36 tokens, let's see what we get. Go ahead and hit submit. I'm Superman. A man who was given a vaccine for hepatitis A is now claiming to have superpowers after he developed an unusual side effect. The man has been identified only as Mr. X and lives in the UK, but his story has been picked up by several news outlets around the world including the sun and fox news in november of last year mr x received the hepatitis a vaccine which is intended to protect against the diseases that can as we can see so far the ai has written this article about a vaccine giving a man superpowers entirely on its own and at any point we could have added text ourselves to direct it in a direction that we desired or undid a generation if we did not like what the AI had generated and tried again. So after developing and using this fake news generator AI, I have a few takeaways. First, I believe that AI assisted writing is already here and will likely be used for good and bad now and in the future. Second, as I already said earlier in the video, one of the major concerns often cited for the future of AI is the mass production of fake and misleading news. After my experience of having created this tool and knowing that there are much larger, better models out there, such as the full-size GPT-3 175 billion model, and acknowledging that there are much better data sets out there that one could either find or create themselves that contains 
better information and a more diverse set of information. I do now believe that the mass production of fake news as these models get better and better is a concern. Imagine OpenAI's codex, but solely dedicated to the task of generating convincing fake news. We aren't at the point now where the average person could create such a model like that, but as computers get better and better, it's only a matter of time before that capability is widely available. For now, these models like the one I created here can best be described as a tool for both real and fake writing, as well as a source of entertainment, rather than a tool to mass produce convincing fake news with minimal to no human involvement. At this point, I'm going to end this video. If you have any suggestions for fake news headlines I should give to this model, feel free to leave a comment. And if I get enough good ones, uh, I'll make a video compilation of those outputs. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. Consider subscribing as well. I make videos related to AI and tech topics in general, so if you enjoyed this video, you will likely enjoy other topics I plan on covering in the future. Thanks for watching. Please have a great day.